Today we are excited to release a new feature on track that allows you to have multiple unit of measurements on a single ticket. So the use case for this is that you may want to record your tickets in tons, but maybe you want to pay the landowner in board feet. So now you can do that um, and you can uh, you can do it uh, a couple different ways or there's a couple different ways to uh, manage this. And so we'll start off, um, we'll use that scenario where you're going to record in tons and you're going to pay the landowner in board feet. And I'd like to encourage you to start out, you're going to use or go to your products, the main products database that you have selected. And here you're going to see a new link that um, says unit conversions. So select your products that you may have a conversion for and just click on the product. And initially you're going to see that there's no conversions. And, you know, by the way, uh, we allow you to define these conversions because there's no perfect way to convert, um, in, especially in this case, tons to board feet. It really depends on uh, the product that you're dealing with, uh, the, the lengths, the diameters, the weights of the products. So you have to use your own conversions that you and your business have defined and that you have negotiated to pay your uh, your vendors with. But we've made it pretty easy for you to enter these in. Um, so the way it works is that you just have to choose, a, you're going to have a from and a to, or you know one thing equals another thing. Um, and it doesn't matter the number that you put in here. Um, it just matters that you convert from one unit to another. What's likely um, or what, what you may find is kind of standard is that we see a lot of people um, put in that 7.2 tons equals one MBF. And so that's the way you would enter that, but it could be anything. It could be one board feet equals 7.2 tons. So it could be reversed. Um, it could be uh, this doesn't have to be one. It could be, you know, 7.2 tons equals 2,000 board feet. So I think you probably get the picture there. Once we save it, it's going to give us that little conversion. And we can add others here if we want to. So this is our default or global conversion for this particular product. So anytime for any job that we're setting up a product um, that's this product and we want to do a conversion or we want to, you know, specify that we're going to go from one unit to another unit. And as long as it's these two units from tons to board feet, then it's going to use this conversion. But you can override that. I'll touch on that a bit later. So now once we have our, a conversion set up for a product, we're going to go into our job products and we're going to add a product. We're going to choose that same product. We're going to just choose a mill. And let's go ahead and set up with just a standard mill distribution. Let's say they're sending us $30 per ton. Let's just set up a logging expense. $10. Notice that says per ton. And you'll see this looks a little different than you're used to seeing. We've moved a lot of these little uh, settings and uh, things that you can change and put them all under this little settings uh, icon and you'll notice now here's where you edit the split you can change the unit of measurement you can edit the coal pavement or remove the distribution and here let's go ahead and enter in our landowner expense and so for this one notice we got the dollars per ton that's the default and when I passed over up here you'll see the unit of measurement for the product and that's the the default that's the from and it is uh, it's it's what's going what you're going to record the ticket in. So um, this is important to set up kind of first, and by default it's going to be tons. Um, now we're going to change this unit of measure to thousand board feet, and notice immediately it recognizes that hey we're we're going from tons to board feet for this product, so it pulled in the conversion that we just entered in. And then we can enter in a rate. So let's say we want to do $70 per MBF and we'll click save. And then 
this number is a number that we provide for you that we try to give you a, a per ton or per unit basis. Now that we have mixed units, it's a little bit more difficult to do that. Um, but we do go ahead and we just basically convert one ton to get the per ton amount. So, you know, one ton is $30. Um, one ton for this is $10. And then if you convert using that unit of measurement, our dollar amount per ton is $1.73. It's important to note though that this is um, this number, or this profit number may change slightly on your ticket because of the conversion, we have rounded numbers and here we're actually rounding up. So in this example, our dollar amount might actually be 9.72534 or something like that. So once we add more tonnage, you know, a 20, 30 ton, load, it's going to take that repeating decimal out a little bit further and may change that. So don't be alarmed if it's not to the penny, but it should be really close. So now that we have a, a product set up, we can go enter a load, create that load, or enter in our scale ticket number, date. Um, notice we're getting tons here because that's what our default product is based on. And we'll enter our logger. We got our product already selected. We're going to click save and that's going to go to delivered status. And now we can click on our ticket. If we scroll down, we'll notice this is all um, normal. This is what we normally see. Same thing for the logger. But now for our landowner, we have the different unit of measure, the MBF. We have the rate at the MBF and now we have the converted units. So the 20 tons that our conversion rate converted to 2.778 units. And then that amount, 2.778 times 70, comes out to be 194.46. And then we go ahead and this is your total profit here for this load. And then we take, just to help, help you out um, and give you a, a, an idea of what you made uh, gross profit for this on a per ton level, we just take this amount and divide the 20 tons so that gives you $10.28 per ton. And now if you went to settle this, it would be just like you normally would, would expect, except for the landowner um, obviously sees the, the board fee or the MBF on their statement, along with the rates, the units, and the totals. So one other thing I'll touch on before we end the video is we'll go back and I'll show you how to overwrite that amount. So we're going to click on our product and we'll go into this product and we'll go to our board peak section. And let's say for example, for this job, we needed to change this measure. We can click on edit and notice there's an override here. We can change that to maybe it's a different rate, 7.4 per ton. We can save that. And so now it's going to list the overriding conversion of 7.4. And notice that even before we close the little box, we get the 7.4 here. And so now it's going to use the 7.4 rate. And we can delete that as well if we just made a mistake and we don't want to use it anymore. And that's going to roll back to the default conversion. There's one quick warning. Um, if you edit this or remove your default conversion, then that's going to uh, remove that for all um, all products that are using this P or using the same uh, product. So you, you don't really want to edit the default conversion under your product if you don't have to, but we do give you that option. Um, and of course, you can always edit it under your products database over here as well. So I hope that helps and I hope it was a clear uh, demonstration as always, if you have any questions, give us a call. Oh, and before we end it, I do want to touch on one thing. We did add, so this is not necessarily a conversion, but there's a couple different ways that you can record uh, the units now. So there's also, if we go in here, the um, there's a just buy the load. So maybe you want to pay, maybe your trucking is uh, $200 per load. And so that's just going to be per load and there's no conversions. It's just going to do a, a flat rate of $200 per load. Kind of the same thing. You can also change it to 
um, per mile. And this is going to give you, if it's, um, let's say it's $40 per mile. And this is not per mile per ton like we've always done trucking, but this is just per mile. So it would just be $40 times the mileage up here at the top is what you're going to get. So those are some nice additions as well. And um, like I said earlier, if you have any questions, let us know.